over there, but uh, they've awakened, so I'll have to help them out a bit, alright? Hey, 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 you alright? That's good to see. How's your throat doing? Don't know, don't. Trying to speak with that such dry of a throat is probably a bad idea. Luckily, uh, some people found you and was able to uh, bring you back here. You were bleeding out for some time. But don't worry too much. Uh, you're safe here for now. Well, as long as you don't leave, you'll be okay, right? So, I think we're... have a thought here, so... Don't think too much, alright? Here, uh, let me check your arm for a second. to clean that up. Hope you don't mind. I need to wipe some of that off. There we go. That should do it. Uh, I will need to get some more bandages, but right now your arms are probably sore, so I don't really want to put too much on you. Yeah. Uh. But if I, uh, check out your abdomen, well, well, there was an arrow in your gut, so I just didn't want you to bleed out. I put some bandages on you. Uh, hope you don't mind. Can you lift up your shirt just a bit? Thank you. The bandages are going to stay on for now. Uh, I'm just going to put some minor tapping pressure on there. Tell me if it hurts. Right there? Yeah? Alright. Don't worry, I have something for that. Right here. Uh, this bit of cream might help you. It's an ointment that I had to make. So just put this on right here. Alright, can you, I need to move the bandage a bit, so... Here we go, right there. Alright. Yeah. Warm, yeah. It'll feel warm for the first uh, hour, I would say. You'll start uh, feeling more numb in that spot later. I uh, can do rubber water skin later, but right now I'm. I want to make sure you're okay. Yeah. Uh, here, let me take off my gloves for this. I need to be able to feel my fingers to cast some spells. Alright. Light. Yeah, you see the tip of my fingers right here? They're in the light. Can you follow them for me? Yeah. Now look at me, look at my nose. Alright. Yeah, it's gonna get brighter as I get closer to your face. Um, I'm just trying to see if your eyes are okay. As long as your eyes are actually dilating. I've seen people uh, get some bad concussions out there, so I'm just worried about you. That should be good. There we go. Yeah. Now, unfortunately for you, mending does not work on, uh, living people. Sorry. Well, I need to get my gloves on, because if you are sick in any sort of way, I don't really want to get sick. All I saw is that when they brought you to me, you had an arrow in your arm and in your gut. 
as well as a rock kind of slit into your uh, lower back. Yeah. But you seem to be doing fine. I do have some cure wounds, so perhaps that might make you feel better. Well, let's see. That should be good. Right. Heal! Oh. It really takes the wind out of me every now and then. Yeah, I see that. That wound's closed now. That's good. Oh. Now I'm kind of hungry. Good something for you. You've been out for a day and a half. And maybe you've been out even longer, actually, now that I think about it. Ah, <sighs> well. Are you feeling hungry? No. Oh. Yeah, my apologies. I never really explained much. <laughs> That's entirely my bad. Ah, uh, this place is Tarifel. Part of the Thunder. Uh, I think, by looking at the arrows... You were, uh, ambushed by some wood elves. They probably thought you would have died. Yeah, usually the neurotoxin kills someone, but... You seem to be fine. Any explanations for that? What? I see that ring, then. So, let me guess it's a magical ring. That nod is good to hear. Well, you're alive, that's all that really matters. And they think you're dead. So, what were you doing out there? That's my question. No, I'm not one to judge. I shouldn't be asking too many personal questions. I apologize. It's just, you know, you came in all wounded, so. I'm just here to serve and help people, which is what I'm going to be doing. Alright? You're okay. Anything you say, your secret will be safe with me. Don't think about it too much. The Templar Order has always been helpful. That's what we're here to do. Make sure everyone's okay. Heal the sick. Make sure blood mages aren't killing people. And thus... I've just thought myself being out here more helpful than being in the capital. Yeah. So we're here we are. I was uh born and raised here in Tylerfell, so uh it's just normal for me to be here, I think, as well. And I like to help people, so I'm sorry, I don't need to bother you, I'm just here to help you. You don't need to be trapped here like a prisoner listening to me. You are healed, mostly. You should be able to go and... Go wherever you need to go. Leave. Though I suggest, uh... hunkering down for a week, getting some good old rest in. There's plenty of cheap inns nearby that you can take. Well, yeah, I mean... I assume you're going to be leaving? Uh, I don't know your heraldry, but, uh... I can tell that, uh... You're not... Part of a Thungar or anything like that. So you must be Eagle Claw or something. It's the first time meeting someone from Eagle Claw. Good to meet you. Oh, no, I'm, uh, I don't judge. It's not in our nature to judge. You guys use mages, but, uh, I mean, uh, your uh, monarchy's a bit out of whack, I think. Yeah, having people ordained from God is kind of a lot, even for me. <laughs> but that's none of my business. Uh, if you want some more assistance, I can help you walk to an inn nearby, what do you say? All right, sounds perfect. 
time for the Patreon shoutouts. Uh, Milo Stout, Sarvul, Sarah Mockefell, Juliana, Ascaria, and Alicia, Al Alicia, Alicia Lamp. Thank you all for being patrons, new patrons and all. Uh, if you want not safe work audios and uh, rambles and safe work audios, uh, join the Patreon and you will get uh, such bonuses. So uh, I thank you all and I hope you have a good day.